love going to Mikawaya to get mochi ice cream. Today, I got the chance to meet the president of the company, Mrs. Frances Hashimoto. So, Mrs. Hashimoto, how big is your company? Uh, we have two factories and five retail locations, uh, four in Los Angeles uh, and one in Hawaii. Uh, we ship all over the United States, especially our mochi ice cream. <laughs> And, uh, but the pastries we do, uh, actually now we, we ship out uh, and, and you could order it online. We have Trader Joe's, which is our mochi ice cream, and uh, Costco, uh, and different supermarkets. Uh, we make seven different kinds of chichidango, which is a new product, um, blueberry. Mm. That's a pineapple chichidango. Mm, it's really good. That's a strawberry chichidango. Oh my god, so good. It's a mikasayama. Mm. That's a peanut butter mochi. Mm. That's a pink gyuhi. That's a hyoko. That's a green gyuhi with koshiyang. Mm, that's really good. That's a yokan maki. Mm, that's good. That's a white gyuhi. Uh, that's a imo manju, uh, which is potato. Oh my god, that was so good. Well, I see some very interesting pictures in this room. What's this one about? Well, this is a photo of my parents. Um, in 1925, they opened in a different location, and it's their grand opening, uh, as you can see from the flowers and uh, that's my mother and my father right there. So it, it sort of reflects how long they've been in business, uh, how long Mikalaya has existed. This is again uh, another store and it, this was taken in 1927. And again, my mother and my father. Uh, but if you notice, all the people are wearing suits to yeah. come to, to a fountain. No one does that anymore. anymore right. So this must be your mother. Yes, actually this picture was taken on July 10 in 2003. This was her 100th birthday and she was in front of the store, but they captured her, her smile. I mean, she loved being at the store. So she's wearing an apron and at the store working, which was her favorite thing. What did your parents teach you that helps you today? My parents were both from Japan, so they they really, uh, there was no limit to, they thought, uh, learn as much as you can. So uh, when I was a child, we had to learn Japanese, uh, Japanese dancing, tea ceremony. They taught us to really think of our, our past, but, but to really study hard. What do you need to do to keep your business open? Well, I think the main thing is we're constantly looking for new products and at the same time, we always remember that it's traditional Japanese pastries. So we work on that, being traditional, authentic, and yet trying to think of different uh, products that, that would be along the, the tastes of Americans. What personal qualities do you have that helps you be successful? Well, I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but I'm extremely stubborn, so if I, start working on a project, I'm really, really uh, adamant about making sure we follow through on it. Being uh, the president of my company, I started out with uh, making the pastries, um, doing everything, uh, in fact, like cleaning the warehouse when I first started. So to me, it's not so much well lead, to be the leader, is more that I join them and, and they know that, that I try to work along them, alongside of them. I mean, I really believe in what we do, so they all understand that. When you look at the younger generation today, what do you see and what words of advice do you have? The key thing for us is to um, keep our culture alive and that we work together to promote that. It's, it's not just one person, but that if we work as a team, uh, young people, older people, that. The young people learn from the older people and the older people uh, get ideas from the younger people. So it's really a sharing of, of ideas and uh, working together. How do you define success? 
and what does it mean to you to be successful? To me, success is a state of mind. I'll never be completely successful because I'm always thinking of what else can I do. It's an ongoing type of thing. Uh, I don't feel successful, but every time we do something, it might be a little bit of success. If you accomplish a little, then you reach some type of success, and you, it's just a series of, of goals that you reach. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you. I really enjoyed it. A lot of fun for me, too. Thank you. <laughs> Today I really enjoyed talking to Mrs. Hashimoto and she made me want to be more involved in the Japanese community.